Cheers. Do you remember back in the early 90s when we had Intel outside stickers on our Amigas? That period of life uh, made me dislike Windows and absolutely everything else from Microsoft with a passion and Intel as well. But so far in life, I've only been able to stay away from Windows, not Intel. But I think it's time to try to get back into my life with Intel outside sticker on my case and no Intel inside my computers. I've used some time to dig around on the internet to figure out what computer to use. I was kind of considering to try using the Raspberry Pi 5 as my main computer, as I find that quite capable, but just almost there. The Rock 5 is mentioned everywhere. And now there is open source drivers for the Mali graphic chip. And that is kind of a game changer. At least for me. Because then I can use this as a proper desktop computer. So this is everything I've bought for this project. So let's see if I'm able to actually live comfortable with Intel outside. This is the Rock 5 V case. I have bought the 8 GB version. It is powered by 8 CPU cores, a quad core ARM Cortex A76 and quad core ARM Cortex A55, and the ARM Mali G610 MP4 GPU and lots of other things. It supports Debian, which is what I'm preferring to use. And here it is with the Rock chip, RK3588 chip, system manager chip. And here's room for Wi-Fi, which I bought. And on the other side, there is room for NVMe SSD. I think this will be a nice setup. They did not provide a screw. I'll go digging in my pile of old laptops. My good friend Turana has printed me this ATX uh, bracket, I think it's called. And this will work perfectly. I have also bought this active cooler, which I think will keep the board nice and cool. And I have connected the powers and ready to give it the first try. Just need to make sure the monitor is set on the correct input, HDMI. And then a big nothing. I could not get it to boot. I could not even get it to give any output at all to the through the HDMI cable. Quite annoying. In the end, I gave up for today. Another day, another beer. Cheers. That was not easy. I wasn't able to make uh, the computer boot with any of my uh, USB-C chargers. I um, had tried everything, USB-A chargers, uh, laptop chargers, phone chargers, nothing. But in the end, guess what worked on this? The one charger I thought would never work. 
my Apple charger. Who would have thought? So now I've booted from an SD card with Ubuntu on. And I did actually have some problems getting uh, the HDMI sync to work as well. But I'm now going through my capture device and then it works. I will figure out that part of it later. It could be something wrong with the monitor, not sure. Next step is we need to image the bootloader to the SBE flash to be able to boot from NVMe. And I also need to image an operating system to the NVMe drive, which is mounted on the card. So let's do that. To be able to boot from NVMe, we have to image a new bootloader to the SPI. So we first uh, image a empty image to clean it and then we image uh, the new bootloader to the SPI. Next up is imaging an operating system to the NVMe and I'm using Debian with KDE as my operating system on this computer. And that's it. I think it's supposed to work now. We need to shut down the computer, remove the SD card, and then it hopefully will work booting from the NVM, NVMe drive. Let's hope. SD card is out. It worked. Debian, Debian 12 on the Rock 5B. The fan is going crazy though. I need to figure out that, what that is about. The fan was quite easy to fix. It was uh, just a matter of uh, running the RS setup and changing the thermal governor to stepwise. The computer needs a name and of course it has to be Intel outside. So it's finally installed and working. I think it's time to put it in its case and uh, make it look a bit tidier and nicer than this chaos. And after that, it's. I think it's time to give it a proper setup and uh, try everything I want to try on it. One of those things is uh, to see how well it emulates an Amiga, of course. I bought myself a small uh, ITX case and with the bracket I can mount it inside. There is also room for a hard drive if I ever need that on the bracket. And if we put uh, that inside, it fits perfectly. I want to connect the LED in the front of the case, so I need to make an adapter with a resistor on it that I connect between the GPIO pins and the LED to protect it. This will do the trick. And then it's just a matter of putting in the last screw and there it is. I think it's time to uh, install uh, Amiberry and give that a try. So let's uh, dig into that. We need to compile it from source. So we will visit the GitHub page and download it from there. Let's uh, first uh, uh, clone the project to the disk and then install G++ and compile it. And when it's done, it's time to test it. And it works. So I will now set up uh, the emulator and we will have a go at it.
everything works uh, very snappy. But let's try a demo. I want to use uh, TBL Rift as a test uh, to see how it how well it runs. This works perfectly and uh, I've tried a lot of other things as well and everything runs smooth and uh, emulating Amiga works superb on this one. Another everyday test is uh, to see if it can stream YouTube in 4K and it can, no problems at all. The system is super snappy, it emulates the Amiga like a dream. It is way faster than my Raspberry Pi 5. The desktop is snappy, no lag anywhere. It can play 4K YouTube without any issues at all. Everything works and I, so far, nothing has annoyed me and felt slow. So I think this means it's time to go until outside, finally. There is one thing I will not use this computer for, and that is video editing. I'm using my M1 based Mac Mini for that. So no Intel there either. Great success. I hope you have a wonderful evening and cheers.